All right. This is the creature review and the list making for later. Because if I am going to continue doing this, then making teams should be quick and easy. So I will be making lists and going over each monster in the list. Now I'm going to stand down here for a somewhat cinematic look and hope that the auto thumbnail thingy figures it out. So let's go to the monster journal. First are the four spectral beasts. Or the four beasts from the spectral keeper, the used to be celestials, whole thing. So. Starting with the Spectral Wolf, uh, represents Cunning, Guardian of Snowy Mountains and Dark Forests. Fair enough, we have two of those. As with the others, revered and respected, but his relation was more complicated. They were feared and avoided, but at the same time, he was used to protect kids and uh, prevent being hexed. Since the creation of the Sanctuary has been of the Veles bloodline. Uh, said to be a friend to strangers and those who prefer the company of beasts. Mm -hmm. Keepers aren't seen as warm people, but are respected for their keen judgment thanks to perceptive and logical nature, and are generally used to solve disputes. The toad is wise and revered in the rivers and coastal areas. We got those. Mm -hmm. Warlock's toad may or may not be the same thing. And Warlock's Toad gives people arcane secrets. Hequet Bloodline. Teacher to Young Keepers. Do, 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 do. And they managed to not forget things. Damn. And they say what they have. Neat. Eagle is based on bravery. Hidden Realm Above the Clouds. Yeah, we kind of have that. Important to Sailors. And Explained Parrots. The Yazi Family. Traders. And Phoenix Imagery. Noble Lion. Prairies and tropical jungles. We don't actually have those here. Unless you count like the starter area as a prairie. And the underground is maybe a jungle of mushrooms. Fights against evil. Guards the pure of heart. Narasima bloodline. Rise to the highest ranks of the order. And he's law versus evil. So let's go ahead and check these. So we'll go over these three first and then go back to mine. So the lion has fire and stone eight stacks. None of these other guys get that. Okay, the toad does, but the toad makes sense to have it. Not you! What are you gonna do with it? You have multi-burn! <sighs> okay, you know what? We are bringing you over here. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, send the pterodile over there. You don't have multi-burn! And you do have aging, eventually. Okay. That's on me for not knowing that. So the only one who doesn't age is the wolf. Fair, I guess. So Spectral Lion has burn, bleed. I mean, fair enough. Glorious Spark. My goodness, you have a lot of unique things. 
Filthy Strikes, Inferno. Yeah, that's all fair enough. I mean, you, out of all of them, have, like, the most straightforward stats. Like, you have extra defense and HP. You... No, they all kind of have well-rounded stats, actually. Hmm. Okay. I guess you're just a burn and crit guy with a little bit of sealed and eight stacks. All right. I'll go ahead and jot that down. Lion. So you're weak to yellow, okay. I wouldn't really call him a sealder, but he is a crit buffer. I'll state that. Okay, next up we have the wolf. You get, you get that earlier than the other! Okay, apparently all of you get that. I mean, fair enough. You are ancient. Still, not exactly something I was expecting. So you're a spirit beast, spirit beast, aquatic spirit, and aerial spirit bird. So you have the most subtypes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next up is the wolf. So you have... Oh, that was added by the DLC. Oh, I hate that. I hate that, hate that, hate that, hate that. Why is that there? Never escape the bonds of the DLC. So yeah. You're a water attacker with crit. You also actually have neutral attack, which is surprising. Not a lot of crit builds have that. Good mix between physical and magical attacks, but more on the magical side, unless you're going with crit. Improved sidekick, multi-offense, and improved glory. Okay. And you actually do get multi-sail eventually. Okay, but you don't get congeal. You don't. That is an important distinction. So, do you get anything special with aid stacks or... No, no you don't. You know what? You have enough stuff over here. I'm willing to put you down as a uh, straight up buffer. As for the wolf, uh, fire weak, I'm guessing. Nope, green weak. Spirit Beast. 
I'm obviously not gonna do this for all of them in a single video because by god we're probably already yeah 10 minutes in okay so this formula clearly is not gonna work okay let's just go over every monster then that we have here that'll be easier <sighs> though we'll go through them in journal order all right blob has basically the only one of the only actual blob support things in slime infestation uh the lava slime the rainbow slime and the chill slime don't have that so blob has multi armor break and is really good at spreading the armor break around just by existing has mana upkeep so the rest of the party doesn't have any issues with it combo initiators so that they can uh, boost everybody else up they have purify they have support moves so they can uh, debuff and also heal and they have corrosion which basically functions as uh, the extra debuff damage 99% of the time and starts people off with buffs and in case they still have mana problems, gives people channel. So you never have to worry about that. Uh, Magma Pillar uh, is okay. That eventually evolves into Magmoth, who has a whole bunch of stuff involved with fire. Uh, including being able to remove enemy buffs with fire, charge stacks from fire and shard stacks over here setting people on fire while applying a seal to everybody but mind you these don't uh give as much combo as regular seals uh being able to apply weakness from sonic assault death blow uh is nice uh basically just being able to do neutral damage as well and just apply debuffs with many hits uh, situational support so you can do one support thing and then get straight back to setting people on fire you don't have to worry about spamming those a little bit of evasion a little bit of critical hybrid and giving you defense and mana shielding so when you hit people you don't die which is really good mana shielding probably really busted uh, rocky you get your evolution into big rock which is around here somewhere mega rock overall super defensive uh gains buffs uh there aging golden age to remove debuffs and this is an aura that's not unique so you can actually have more than one of these uh you've got charge stacks you've got uh providing glory to the party despite this so there's a bit of not good there uh you've got multiple varieties of punches setting people on fire uh, defense focus, static. So why would you ever use this? Ugh, that's just confusing. And then giving people basically a second instance of barrier through channel. Uh, multi might and forceful might, which is an aura. So that works. But how do you get might? Ah, the sorcerer equivalent of yeah. So can work well as a brawler but mostly built as a support uh you a bird who then evolves to another bird i'm pretty sure you've got some bird synergy but i'm not too sure of it i know i evolved you just recently so why can't i see you there's a lot of flapping wings but i'm not seeing yours in here specifically Better not be way over here. <sighs> While we're here, I guess we'll talk about you. Fatal upkeep and congeal. Very, very rare to have on the same unit. Frostbite for armor break. Initial chill. Overall, kind of tanky stats. Icy fists to be able to apply an additional stack of chill in conjunction with conceal and all of this hell yeah uh, increasing crit chance having ice spears i didn't even know that a little bit of heal jolly spirit so uh you can buff once and get second buffs and not have to worry as much about mana Hell yeah, a tank that adds conceal and, fa conceal and fatal upkeep. You're actually really, really, really busted. I didn't even notice that. You, cat, beast warrior, 
Uh, you got multi-region. Um, wind affinity, which is nice. First impact, so... If you use long slash, then that works. All of this actually tones down the damage of long slash, so you may want to keep it up here. Because this has 280, so a total of 70% jump, but there's also a 70% jump. Weird. Bleed build, recuperate, so you don't have to worry about mana, severe hit. Basically, just generic bleed stuff. Uh, nature spirit mage. I never really found any use for you. Mm -hmm. Like, you want to build a mana. You want to hit once really, really hard. That's kind of what this guy does. Like, this guy would be more useful in, like, an infinity arena. Because you can swap between physical and magical damage. But other than that, you build mana with them. Uh... You try and avoid crits, I guess. You get the exploit bonus. And Mage Barrier's not bad. So yeah, I guess they're good regardless of those, but they're not as good in my opinion, because, you know. Let's see, Steam Golem. One of my favorites, you could tell, because I got him to level 40 in the other save file. Initial burn, neutral affinity, not a lot of creatures, neutral affinity. Fire sealed, being resistant to fire. Observe, optimal performance, constructs receive less damage and are 10% more resistant to debuffs, which is really good if you're trying to not die. Cleanse, which is really good when there's a bunch of people with tons of buffs. Sealed burst, which basically turns his defensive skills into really really strong hits that can straight up kill somebody uh fuel for uh charge stack team along with multi-burn along with a uh, decent number of buffs overall yeah he's a unit that sets people on fire and tanks for you really good like that Fine, I'll go over lore real fast. The notion of a hidden realm that is only inhabited by blobs is generally seen as ridiculous. Yeah, they were foreshadowing that. Yeah, so before the sanctuary was sealed away, magma pillars were kind of hunted for silk. Interesting. Benevolent nature spirit, fair. Pretty sure that's a Star Fox reference. 
Siegfried, I'm pretty sure that's the guy who, uh, in the Magma Caverns, there was the rune stone. Uh, he was the guy who did the thing. Sad. Yetis, fair enough. Mechanics who dabbled in alchemy. Well. Uh, so that explains the mystical workshop. Caves behind waterfalls, uh-huh. Ancient Book of Demons. I think we still have that in our inventory. Basically, he outpranked them. Nice. Father Frost. I think Father Winter is either just Russ and Winter or Santa Claus, I'm not sure. Oh, I can summon stuff strong as a meteor, damn. Mm. 
interesting. Spectral Keepers, that's the term. Yeah, they're neat. Night. Interesting. So these guys are no longer weak to fire, but weak to lightning instead. I think they're called audience is fun. Cannon with rail sea horses. Consider constructs, that makes sense. Yeah, construct.
guys kind of started the initial war of the world. Fair enough. a good story that yeah that makes sense with their stick being infinitely powerful Yeah, I have no idea what this is, honestly. <laughs> I 
guess that explains why there's not a lot of them. death monster. That's inclusive, and I'm surprised. is famous in Inuit mythology and it's one of my favorite monsters. As for other things, I don't really know what your inspiration is as a river dragon. Actually, probably the Chinese river dragon. That makes sense. Two-headed snakes are fair enough. Kame, basically, I don't know, either a kappa or a uh, mutant ninja turtle gone wrong. I have no idea what the fuck is up with you with the eye hood and being a phantom and being an elephant. Like, I get that we don't, we shouldn't hunt elephants anymore because, uh, you know, but still, that's crazy. Uh, reptile warrior, uh, that's just cool. I'm not sure if it's referring to anything, but it's just cool. Uh, the Kirin, aka Quillen, uh, the Sizzle Knight, uh, yeah, as far as I'm aware, this is basically a Dark Souls reference from using the Sunstone and Praise the Sun with the seal design. The Koi Fist is neat. The Tanuki is obviously from uh, Japan. Pretty sure this is just a yokai, quite honestly. It has that vibe. Dodo Bird, prehistoric raptor. Uh, crab with giant claws. Brawling Fist, the Brawlist, the... Big pokey uh, puffer fist, uh, the nautilus, giant bird, jellyfish, but uh, lore. <sighs> yep, they eat themselves in certain situations, aka the female eats the male after mating. Females kick ass, predatory nature. Female gods of war. That's kind of nice. Hey, you didn't die in battle. Fight one of these. You'll still die, but you'll die in battle. If their mud has healing powers.
volcanic minerals. Interesting. Guess that's what the volcanic stuff is used for. Famous for their mastery of martial arts. Hmm. So what the heck are you? Pipe foxes. Interesting. Got lesbian dodos. Oh, the 
first monster keepers dealt with dodos. Nice. Breaker of boats. Huh. Didn't expect these to be made by demons. Elder Gel Empire. Are these mind flayers? Oh, so these are the Jock Dude Bros. <laughs> yeah, don't try to cook one of those. <laughs> Not lids, not Lloyds. Mm. Fair enough. Ancient Tome of Demons, again. Mm. Interesting. Didn't think we'd get to Demon Wars around here. Where are we at on time? Jesus. Okay, this must have been me in silence just looking at things. I know I'm not reading them, but that's because it would be really slow. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, these things ma would make great pets. They're fucking overpowered. Oh, of course they have a union.
so they worked with the workshop. Neat. Ancient dragon insect. Okay, wasn't expecting for more ancients to be around here. Interesting. The One True King arc. Let's see where it goes. Sixer. Nature Dragon. Now that's sad. Bird maids, interesting. They aren't a construct, which I'm surprised by. Oh, so planes don't exist yet. Leonardo the Great, aka Leonardo da Vinci, okay. Poulter often.
That's probably the spirit guy with the Kenko, the pipe foxes. Yep, these are the guys created by steam golems. Fair enough. So there's 101 creatures and we're at almost an hour now at number 73. So we're getting close to the end. We're 75% of the way through. Mimic. Occult spirit construct, uh huh. Goblin pilot. Saw copper. It's funny that these two are right next to each other. This one's weak to nature. Well, this one is weak to water and air. This one is weak to uh, earth and fire. So these two actually perfectly complement each other despite being completely different. Weird. I asked the goat that eats nothing but tin cans. Dracozool. So that's how the term Keeper Dragoon came about. You are fucking scary as hell, Gollum. Lendel the Troll Keeper. I'm sure that these names come up in the Hall of Legends or whatever. Brutus. Alright, 
Second to last page, yep. So let's see. Mega Rock. Also, spider warning soon is, as the next one is the spider thing. Spider time. Now oh, they have double jumps. Spider time continued with the arachnid lids. Spider time is over. We're on to Hakuna Matata. Don't kill the sacred things. Frankenstein's monster, how you doing? Victor. It's true, Frankenstein's monster was never given a name. So something happened, and an entire castle disappeared, and then the Dracona became Fafnir. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit to figure out what the fuck is this. So nothing to do with the previous dragons, who all were building up a great story. More proof that the DLC sucked. Uh, mini spider warning. I'm sorry, you can kind of already see it.
bird maids. I believe we read this one. Yeah, we did. Vulpine demons, of course. That's like the mantis shrimp. Punches so hard they explode. Vertistrum. Thanatos or Thanatoy. Rainbow blobs. Changeling, hi. Interesting. You, we already went through. Fist man. Ah, the Lovecraft thing. Sorry for lack of commentary. Uh, food's gonna be happening soon, so I'm gonna have to end this at some point. Interesting, these are blind, demonic beings of pure magic that are weak to nature, which I don't say kind of fair. Oh, 
Uh, so we get the origin of the Tome of Demons. Yeah, that was uh, how we found them, was by bringing the Tome over and then it tried to kill us. Demonic plants, fair enough. Probably a grummy. Spectral familiars were regarded as deities, aka the Celestials. And praise the sun. Vertrog. The god of time. Okay. That makes sense, because he did make the deal with them and all that. And then the last two monsters. I'm not sure if you're part of the DLC. I don't think you are, but I don't know why you would be number 102. Especially because the Steam Achievement, Forget All Monsters, should have all 101. Right? There's one, oh, t 111 is total, so it makes sense that the DLC added 10 monsters. So the Mad Lord, the final boss. I believe this is talking about us, actually, surprisingly. Yeah, that explains why they need the druid soul. Why do you have a bird beak? No. Oh. 
uh, the great cataclysm that spread the volcanic ash that evolved the Dracos. And referencing, of course, Jurassic Park. Yep, the world turtle, fair enough. they are counted as blobs. Neat. I hadn't even thought of that, honestly. I already read your story. Ah uh, yes, Earthworm Jim. I never saw it myself, but I know it exists. monster and trying to go over how I'm going to be doing my sorting for when I do everything but we didn't get very far in that because that is going to take a lot of time so I will see you guys uh, when I start f fighting monsters and stuff doing the champion refights and maybe maybe the keeper battles Actually, no, definitely a keeper battles, maybe the champion monsters, because the champion monsters have grades, the keeper battles are just try and win, which is a lot easier. And a lot harder, because you have to deal with six monsters instead of trying to counter one. Ugh, it's complex. Anyway, see you guys.